fan of Undertale for a really long time, and yet I've never really played the actual game Undertale. Recently I decided to change that. I sat down, fully played through Undertale, and I can get it now. I can get why people fell in love with this game in the first place. Since Undertale has been a big part of the channel, I thought I would sit down and make a video about my favorite parts about the game. Obviously, playing this game 8 years later has the downside of me knowing pretty much the entirety of it already, but I found that that didn't really ex ruin my experience. It still felt really rewarding and enjoyable because it was my actions doing it. I was the one exploring the underground, I was the one that was showing these monsters mercy. It was my actions and input rather than me just sitting here watching someone else play through the game or talk about it. Plus, it was really, really nice to see these characters in their original context, original personalities, instead of their personalities in a fan work or fan comic. That's not to say that those fan works or fan comics interpretations are bad. It was just a really nice palette cleanser to see the classic versions instead of the reinterpreted ones. Another thing that a lot of people don't really talk about these days because it's kind of a given. This game really knows how to blend the serious moments with the lighthearted and funny moments. Like with the first time you meet Sand. It's right after talking with Flowey in the ruins. You're walking along Snowden, no music. Shadowy guy appears from you, it's all serious. You turn around, shake his hand, and it's just this comedic skeleton who has a whoopee cushion hand gag. Really a nice tone setter for character and just the entirety of Snowden. The entire waterfall, in fact, has a really nice blend of serious moments with Undyne chasing you down and of nearly avoiding death, and just the funny moments with Naps the Blue and Monster Kid. The True Lab as well for his dark and spooky and claustrophobic as it was with its unnerving lore and cryptid monster designs of these monsters fused together by determination there is still that aspect of lightheartedness and satisfaction with helping the amalgamates remember who they once were. Again, balancing out a very darker in tone setting with these few lighthearted moments to keep you going. I really like with Metaton how even though he is sort of a threat, his showbiz personality kind of lulls it to a sense of, oh he's not actually that much of a threat, only for the EX fight to happen. But then you get hit with the one two emotional gut punch of the end of his EX fight, and then the truth Alphys is hiding about crossing the barrier. Really good writing there. Speaking of the writing, the dialogue in this game is very well written. There wasn't a single dialogue that really fell out of place or that I didn't like. All of it was really well written. Probably my favorites include the Skeleton Brother antics because that sounds exactly how siblings would banter with each other. And the over the topness of Metaton, him being this robot trying to take your soul for his purposes, but also trying his best to be the number one star in the underground at the same time, really resulted in some funny and hilarious moments. The music as well was really good. The entire time there wasn't a moment in the game where it fell out of place. Every music was fine-tuned well enough that it didn't stay too long. Probably some of my favorites were The Ghost Fight, Waterfall, Temi Village, Another Medium, Death by Glanner, The Snowy Theme, and probably my number one favorite is It's Raining Somewhere Else. I have been a fan of that song for the longest of times, especially of a jazz cover of that song. Getting to hear that song and experience that scene in the actual game itself, it was kind of oddly emotional. It's just kind of a and here we are kind of moment. Alright, I think I've beaten around the bush for long enough. If you've noticed the title, this video isn't just about Undertale. This video is also about the future rather the future of this channel. If you're here, you're probably subscribed to the channel for one reason or another, and looking at my most popular videos, I 
don't think it's a mystery to what most people are here for. And while I am eternally grateful for what those music projects have allowed me to do, it's also been kind of frightening that I'll just be remembered as the guy who did the funny skeleton songs and nothing else. I'll be completely honest, I have been in a creative rut for the past couple of months. I've just lost all the motivation to make projects and because just the thought of not that many people really paying attention to the other stuff I make and just wanting the funny skeleton videos. And besides, it probably would just be another video in the deep sea of the internet, lost and unwatched. That's kind of the reason why I made this video, to kind of return to my roots of where this channel started and to reinvigorate my desire to create things again. I think it worked, I'm glad to say. I've gotten a lot of fun ideas while making this video, from one silly off projects to friends, to bigger projects that even go beyond the scope of a YouTube video. I'm starting to come out of my creative rut that I've been stuck in, and it feels just absolutely great. To those of you right now who are panicking that I'll never do Undertale-related stuff again, don't worry. When the time comes, or when I feel motivated to do so, I'll probably do a couple more Undertale music videos or projects, because I do like Undertale. But don't just expect me to do solely that. Try watching some of the other videos that I come out with or have come out with, because who knows, maybe you'll like it. And to everyone watching, new and old, I just want to say thank you. And I get it, insert joke about he says this every video, but I just don't want it to make it seem like you're unappreciated. I appreciate you guys sticking with me as I figure out some things behind the screen. I. I'm excited for what the future is going to bring, and I hope you are too. To wrap it up in a nice little bow, I don't think I would be here where I am without Undertale. It's inspired me to do so many things, it's allowed me to meet so many cool people, and I'm never going to forget that. So thank you Undertale for everything, and like I said, this isn't the end of me doing Undertale stuff, but this is also a new chapter for me. And hope you're excited for where it goes. That was kind of a serious note to end it on. Here's Papyrus flying out of a window. <laughs>